Pogini College of Engineering and Technology, myself Justin Leo, Assistant Professor of Mechanical Department. Welcome you all for this non-destructive testing and course video lecture. And the non-destructive testing and evaluation, the course code is ME8097 and it is a professional elective subject for the mechanical engineering students under regulation 2017. So non-destructive testing and evaluation uh, unit one that is overview of non-destructive testing. So we'll be studying uh, the introduction part of this overview of non-destructive testing of unit one in this uh, video lecture. So before going in depth to the first unit, so the main objectives on studying non-destructive testing and evaluation for the student is to understand the various non-destructive evaluation and testing methods, theory and the industrial application. And the first unit that is overview of NDT, we have non-destructive testing versus mechanical testing, overview of the non-destructive testing methods for uh, detection of uh, manufacturing defects as well as material characterization. And we'll be studying about the relative merits, applications and uh, limitations of various uh, non-destructive testing methods and the various physical characters of the materials and its industrial applications. And we'll be studying about the visual inspection that is uh, aided and unaided. So in the second unit that is surface NDE methods, the students will be studying about the two non-destructive testing methods. The one is liquid penetrant testing and the other one is a magnetic particle testing. So in this uh, uh, liquid penetrant testing, We'll be studying about the principles and the different methods and the different methods of liquid penetrant testing and the types and properties of uh, various uh, liquid penetrant testing materials like penetrants, developers and the advantages, uh, disadvantages, applications of various testing methods and the testing procedures, interpretation of results and similarly the magnetic particle testing uh, theory of magnetism, inspection materials and the various magnetization methods, interpretation and evaluation of test indications and the principles and methods of uh, demagnetization and the residual magnetism. So moving on to the third unit, the students will be studying about the uh, two non-destructive testing methods, thermography and eddy current testing. So in thermography, they will be studying about the principles, the contacts and non-contact inspection methods. Take this method, edges of this method, edges of this methods. We will be studying and and on ed the generation of eddy, the generation of eddy currents, generation of eddy currents, generation of eddy currents, property currents, properties of eddy, property advantages and disadvantages and disadvantages and disadvantages and disadvantages of disadvantages of disadvantages of disadvantages eddy current, eddy current, eddy current, eddy current, eddy current, eddy current testing, eddy current testing, eddy current and the interpretation and the interpretation and evaluation and evaluation and evaluation and evaluation of results. Moving on to the unit 4, the students will be studying about the ultrasonic testing and aquastic emission testing. Here in ultrasonic testing, they will be studying about the principle of ultrasonic testing, the various transducers and the methods of ultrasonic testing that is a transmission and pulse echo method, straight beam and angle beam method and relations, data represent aquatic emission parameters principles, principles, imaging, 
imaging imaging film and imaging film and filmless techniques filmless techniques types of 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 techniques types and screens and screens geometric 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 factors 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 inverse 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 square law characteristics of films rainness city speed colors etc etc and the different and the different types of penetrometers exposure charts and then fluoroscopy zero radiography computer radiography and computer tomography so what would be the out post outcomes for the students so upon completion of this non destructive testing and evaluation course the students will be able to summarize the fundamentals of various non destructive testing methods in unit 1 and in unit 3 i'm sorry i mean unit 2 they will be studying about the and uh, the principles and testing knowledge for surface nd methods like liquid penetrant testing and magnetic particle testing and in unit 3 they will be able to explain the materials and testing procedures by thermography and eddy current testing and in unit 4 they will be able to interpret the ultrasonic testing and acoustic emission test of various products in the fifth unit the students will be able to understand the principles and procedures radiography radiography so coming to the introduction of uh, overview of ndt so introduction to material testing so why are metals being tested the metals are being tested to ensure the quality to test the properties of the metals to prevent the failures in usage and to make informed choices in using the materials so factors of sa safety is the ratio comparing the actual stress on a material and the safe useful stress which is very much important in testing of met so normally there are two forms of testing one is uh, mechanical test destructive and non destructive test and in mechanical test the materials may be uh, physically damaged uh, normally to find out the properties such as strength hardness toughness etc and non destructive test for the samples or the finished pro products are tested before being used and the samples after testing is not damaged so we can reuse the parts and you can perform so 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 in destructive testing the test of carried out to the specimens failure in order to understand a specimen's structural performance or the material behavior under various loads so normally we'll be studying about the destructive testing like stress te testing in which you have tensile test compressive test and impact testing hardness testing torsion test shear test creep test and fatigue test so destructive testing uh, is defined as a test no, uh, in which the components of the specimen may be tested is destroyed and cannot be reused so after testing what happens to the component is the components uh, of the specimen either breaks or remain no longer for use and the destructive testing as the name suggests includes the methods where the specimen or the components is broken in order to determine the various physical and mechanical properties like strength toughness ductility and hardness and coming to the destructive testing it is very suitable and economical for mass production because the cost is negligible of pieces is negligible but it is very economical when a few items are to be produced and overview of destructive testing you have this hardness testing so hard in hardness testing you will find the hardness of the metal that is uh, it is nothing but the ability to withstand 
indentation or scratches. So you have uh, three types of uh, testing. Renal hardness test, Vickers hardness test, and uh, Rockwell hardness test. So this is hardness testing machine. Uh, hope you have would have uh, studied it in the previous semester. And uh, impact test. So here the toughness of the metal is being detected. And the toughness of the metal is the ability to withstand impact. So here you can, uh, there are two types of uh, Test that is ISO test and sharp impact test, and this is a impact test, impact testing machine. This also in the pre have studied in the previous semester. And this tensile testing it uses an extensometer to apply measured force to a test specimen, and this uh, uh, measured and graphed variables such as. Stress, strain, elasticity, tensile strength, ductility, and shear strength can be gauged. And the shape of the test specimens may be a round or a flat one. And this is the shear and bending test machine. And the below one is the torsion test, that is, a, the component has been uh, mentioned here after the uh, torsion test is performed and introduction to non-destructive testing so non-destructive testing or NDT is a wide group of analyzing techniques normally used to evaluate the materials, materials or the components of the system without causing any damage to the components terms non-destructive examination E, non destructive inspection NDI and non destructive evaluation NDE are also commonly used to describe this technology because this uh, non destructive testing does not permanently alter the specimen or the parts that is being inspected, and it is a very highly valuable technique and the money and the time can be saved in product evaluation, troubleshooting and research. So what is testing? Restrictive testing. So NDT as I told you before, it stands for non-restrictive testing. And it's as the name implies, non-restrictive testing is nothing but testing of metals or the materials without destroying them. So this non destructive testing examination will use any kind of damage to the sample uh, of the mater uh, materials. Being these materials can be reused, can be reused. The definitions which we which we saw in the previous slides, and the main objective test of non destructive testing is uh, material sorting, uh, material characterization. And it's uh, property monitoring, measurement thickness, uh, detection of defects and location, characterization of defects. And the major task is to detect and identify the range of defects. Uh, and uh, coming to the main objectives, it is used to detect internal or surface flaws. And it is used to measure the dimensions of the specimen. And non destructive testing is used to determine material structures or chemistry, and it is used to evaluate materials' physical or mechanical properties. So, these are all the different types of non destructive testing and uh, various methods you have here visual inspection method, trend method, magnetic particle testing, thermography testing, eddy current testing, acoustic emission testing ultrasonic inspection, radiography methods, and the coming to the uses of NDT methods. This various non-destructive testing methods are used to detect flaws and and, eval and can be evaluated. Leak detection, location determination, dimensional measurements, and the structure and microstructure character and the 
and the mechanical and physical properties estimation, stress, strain and dynamic response measurements, sorting of materials and chemical composition determination. So when are NDE methods used? The, there are NDE applications at, at almost any stage in the production of a life cycle of a component. So, NDE methods are used to assist in product development and to screen or sort out the incoming materials. It's used to monitor or improve or to control the manufacturing processes and to verify proper processing such as heat treating and it is used to verify proper assembly and to inspect in-service damage. So common applications of non-restrictive testing are to ensure product integrity and reliability and uh, control of manufacturing process, lowering of production costs and uh, maintaining uniformity in quality level. And the non-restrictive testing can be performed uh, uh, during manufacturing or after manufacturing or even on parts that are already in service. So these are all the common application of non-restrictive testing that is inspection of raw products, inspection following secondary processing, in-service damage inspection. So coming to the inspection of raw products, uh, that is uh, uh, you can see from the diagram, this forgings, castings and extrusion, etc. During those times, like uh, you can use this non-restrictive testing methods. And uh, during the secondary processing, that is while machining, welding, grinding, and heat treating, plating, which has been shown in the uh, figures, you can perform the non-restricted testing after this operations. And in-service damage inspection, that is any cracks uh, in the hooks or in the various the pipelines or in the sheet metals, that is co any corrosion, erosion, wear, or heat damage is there. So you can perform this uh, non-destructive testing methods. And features of non-destructive testing, an entire product, production lot can be inspected or even some selected samples can be inspected using this non-destructive testing methods. And you can perform different tests to the same item, either sequentially or simultaneously. And you can Use the same specimen for per performing additional uh, uh, various tests. And this equipment used here is easily portable. And on-site testing in most locations can be permitted. And non-restricted testing does not uh, permanently alter the specimen. And it is a valuable technique, uh, saves money, time and in product evaluation, troubleshooting and research. And it is more reliable, safe and economical. So advantages of non-destructive testing is easily equipments can be handled. And uh, various defects can be detected without uh, damaging the co components or the parts. These methods are very quick and accurate. And you can sort out the components on the basis of electrical magnetic or chemical properties and moreover the test results can be conveniently recorded on paper films cassettes floppies dvd cd etc so coming to the difference between destructive and non-destructive testing as uh, in non-destructive tests it is used to find out defects of materials whereas in destructive tests it is used to find out the properties of the material and here in the uh, non-destructive test, load is not applied on the material, so no material damage. Destructive test, load is applied on the material and hence causing damage to the materials. Non-destructive test, you need not require any special equipment. And the destructive test, you require special equipment. Non-destructive test is non-expensive and here destructive test is expensive. Non-destructive tests, less skilled labors are required. Destructive tests, skilled labors are required. So a few examples of non-destructive tests includes uh, 
dye penetrant testing, magnetic particle testing, ultrasonic, radiography, thermography, etc. Whereas uh, destructive testing have tensile tests, compression tests, hardness tests, etc. So, coming to the visual inspection, see it is the simplest and the fastest and most widely used non destructive testing method. This is uh, being carried out with the naked eye. That is, uh, you need not uh, use any aided equipments or uh, using some optical aids, that is, aided equipments like uh, mirrors, magnifying glasses, and microscopes, etc. So, visual inspection is defined as examining the materials or the components to find out the conditions of non conformance using light and eyes alone or in conjunction with various aids. So, visual inspection also involves listening, feeling, smelling, shaking the components that are being inspected. And it is employed to support other non-destructive testing methods. So, other non-destructive testing methods uh, may require visual intervention to interrupt the images obtained when carrying out various examination and uh, most of the methods will fall back on visual testing for for example liquid penetrant testing uses uh, dyes and uh, relay on the inspectors ability to visual that and identify the surface defects and now you have digital detectors and computer technology have made possible to uh, automate visual inspection and this is called as a uh, machine vision so characteristics of visual testing it is uh, commonly used to detect surface characteristics such as uh, surface finish scratches cracks color wear and corrosion to check alignment of mating surfaces and to check of the components and to check the evidence of leaking and to check internal side defects and advantages of visual inspection is uh, it is very simple and easy to use inexpensive testing speed is high and the testing can be done on components which are in service permanent records can be maintained and you can inspect almost all metals all materials and the limitations involves uh, it's limited to detection of surface flaws. The test results depends only on the knowledge and skill of the tester. And the eye resolution is a normally weak, and the eye fatigue is there, so that would affect the inspection. And uh, you have two types of visual inspection: one is unaided or direct visual testing, aided visual in testing so unaided is nothing but as the name suggests the unaided visual testing is carried out with the naked eye without any optical aids so the main instrument here is human eye and you all know that human eye is the most uh, valuable and fascinating tool for uh, in non destructive testing because of uh, greater precision and accuracy and uh, then many of the sophisticated cameras has a focusing capability ability to work in conjunction with the human brain and uh, it also has ability to differentiate and distinguish between colors and the tones shades characteristics and this capable of assessing many visual characteristics and identifying various types of discontinuities and the eye can perform inspection accurately to detect uh, size, the shape, color, depth, brightness, contrast and texture. So aided visual inspection as the name suggests, the aided inspection is carried out with the help of uh, optical aided equipment such as uh, microscopes, magnifying glasses, boroscopes, fiberscopes and variety of other optical imaging and uh, image enhancement tools. And this optical aids are mainly used for magnifying of defects which cannot be detected by 
unneeded visual inspection and used for assisting in the inspection of defects and can be used in areas where uh, human eye are not easily accessible. So these are all the equipments uh, used in visual inspection. You have this optical aids uh, used like magnifying mirrors, magnifying glasses, uh, multi-lens magnifiers, measuring magnifiers, microscopes, boroscopes, uh, fibroscopes, videoscopes, telescopes, periscopes, optical comparators, optical flats, photographic records, closed circuit television system, machine vision system, image enhancement. And the applications of visual inspection, you have this, uh, this visual inspection is used for cleaning, inspect, inspection of uh, cleaning and machines, and is used for checking corrosion, erosion, and uh, any deformities, machine components. It is used for checking for ruptures, cracks, and wear of parts in the equipments. It is used to monitor manometers, pressure, and temperatures. And oil level can be man monitored. Greasing and greasing apparatus can be monitored using visual inspection. And uh, operation conditions of systems or machines can be monitored use, use, uh, by visual inspection. And wells, testing of wells, pumps, hydraulic systems, belt pulleys, and forging discontinuities can be uh, tested using visual inspection. So these are all the various uh, methods of visual inspection. Fibroscope, boroscope, uh, magnifying glasses, and uh, portable video inspection with zoom allows inspection of large tanks and vessels, railroads and the tanks, etc. And here you have this uh, robotic uh, travelers that permit observation in uh, air tight areas, air ducts in hazardous areas, uh, reactors, pipelines, etc. So with this, we come to an end to the introduction part of the first unit. So thank you and have a great day.